Ah, good evening folks from Victoria here. So this is my humble tribute to the memory of Robert Burns, uh, Scotland's dearly beloved poet. I wrote this a few years ago. It's called The Bard, obviously. Good evening to you chosen few who join me in this hallowed pew to say a word and prayers few for our long dead bard who fell when in his ain young prime and by his maker's hand divine was scalped to a life releasing his wretched painful body for a worldly strife there's them that thought our rab on couth a plume and wee a poet's mouth and sick a hellish drunkard's druth that quenched the very fire O Master Nick, that horny deal while lady's hoof upon her young chill. We has a killis weakness for strong and dandy demon drink, what he slabber in drunken meekness. But I'm on envy Rab's affliction, for his simple lalin's diction, words of truth and nain of fiction, just honest emotion. For in the path throughout his life, when loving another good man's wife, his hurt by Eros shot, he wept the tears for life's unfairness, for illicit love so hot. But I, he was a ranting lad, a lusty, thrusty, reaving lad, a laughing, winking, pluming lad, while melted hurts. In fields of barley, scares above, he skilled his seeds and acts of love, we lips so tender. His thrists were money, be the female gender. But he lured the breast with a heel and lass, but tears of pertinent time would pass. His love for that Celtic maid would last but for a heartbeat. For twas bonny Jean who has love devoured him, in swirling sighs and silken sweet whim, his love it glowed. And he gave to her his burnous name, their love ever flowed. So I'll raise, I'll raise my glass to that communista who I saw the grander social vista for a cottage humble. I'll bless his ever outspoken word, this pluman curse, this tender bard, this Scotsman poet.